Sometimes, a screen is so massive it dominates the entire car. That's the case with the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus. With a 48.0-inch screen, it's hard to focus on anything else. However, the new generation of the Nautilus signifies more than just cutting-edge tech. While it still comes standard with a 250-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four engine, the previous twin-turbo V6 has been replaced by a new 310-horsepower hybrid powertrain. Additionally, all-wheel drive is now standard. Despite the impressive 4-foot dashboard display, the real standout is Lincoln's enhanced attention to detail, senses, and sensibility. The exterior design of the Nautilus is now more sculptural, with door handles seamlessly integrated into the belt line, maintaining the smooth, flowing surfaces. The interior showcases Lincoln's dedication to refinement, with significantly improved materials compared to the previous model. Some interior elements even surpass the quality found in the more expensive three-row aviator. Soft-touch materials cover most plastics, ensuring a premium feel throughout the cabin. The 48.0-inch screen is part of a larger, sweeping wall that wraps around the dash and extends to the door panels. The low and flat dashboard gives the impression of sitting at a dining table. Initially, it might be startling, but the displays blend in seamlessly and are less distracting than traditional infotainment setups. Lincoln Rejuvenate aims to enhance the wellness appeal of the Nautilus by leveraging the SUV's panoramic display, available seat massage feature, integrated fragrance diffuser, and surround sound stereo system for a guided meditation experience designed to help you relax. This system operates only when the Nautilus is stationary, as it reclines the seat and could easily lull you to sleep. While effective, Rejuvenate can feel somewhat gimmicky. The massage and scent features are also available while driving, though without the meditative sounds and imagery, and they are remarkably effective. During our 160-mile drive from Palm Springs to Idlewild and back, we emerged from the Nautilus feeling thoroughly relaxed. Easygoing, not lazy. Relaxed aptly describes the Nautilus's road manners as well. We tested both a hybrid black label model with 22-inch wheels and a gas-only reserve with 21s. Both versions provided exceptional quietness as we navigated the mountain roads of the southern San Bernardino National Forest. Although the Nautilus isn't designed for sporty driving, we did engage the Excite Drive mode during twistier sections. Excite mode firms up the adaptive dampers and adds some heft to the otherwise numb steering, but it doesn't turn this luxury cruiser into a corner carving machine. Excite mode introduced a degree of ride harshness absent in normal mode highlighting small road imperfections rather than smoothing them out. This is beneficial for spirited driving, but it's questionable if this vehicle is intended for such use. The bumps were more noticeable with the larger wheels, but even the 21-inch wheels didn't completely eliminate them. When we tested two black label models, a hybrid and a non-hybrid, both on 22-inch wheels, at our and Arbor office, we experienced more harshness in excite mode than we did on the smoother roads of Southern California. Despite delivering a generally luxurious experience, the Lincoln had a rare flaw, a wobbly front passenger seat in both powertrain versions, which detracted from the otherwise well-built vehicle. We spent most of our time behind the wheel of the new hybrid model, a $1,500 option on any trim level. Of the two powertrains, the hybrid suits the Nautilus best. It features a more powerful version of the turbo 2.0-liter engine, gaining 50 horsepower and 15 LBFD thanks to a larger turbocharger, combined with two electric motors through a planetary gear set. A dog clutch can send 50% of the torque to the rear axle as needed. The hybrid's power delivery is smoother than the gas-only setup, and the extra power makes accelerating up steep inclines effortless. While the non-hybrid's 250 horsepower can handle tough demands, it results in more engine noise in the cabin, and we noticed some jerky surging and lurching at low speeds in excite mode. At our test track, the hybrid outperformed the non-hybrid, reaching 60 miles per hour in 6.6 seconds compared to the non-hybrid black label model's 7.3 seconds. The difference narrows in the quarter mile, with the hybrid completing it in 14.9 seconds at 99 miles per hour, while the non-hybrid clocked in at 15.5 seconds at 90 miles per hour. Both models share a top speed of 126 miles per hour, although the hybrid's digital speedometer stops counting at 100 miles per hour. The two models were close in other key metrics. 
Braking from 70 miles per hour took 176 feet for the hybrid and 179 feet for the non-hybrid. Both achieved a 0.77G result on our skid pad. In interior sound testing, the non-hybrid registered 66 decibels at a 70 miles per hour cruise, slightly quieter than the hybrid's 67 decibels. Both returned 30 miles per gallon on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test, aligning closely with the EPA's highway ratings of 29 miles per gallon for the non-hybrid and 31 miles per gallon for the hybrid. Digital Charm in the 2024 Nautilus, technology is not just prominent, it takes over the entire vehicle. The standout feature is the panoramic screen, with its sharp graphics and numerous digital amenities. However, there's a wealth of important, less visible technology integrated throughout the vehicle. All models come standard with Lincoln's Copilot 360 Driver Assistance Suite and Ford's Blue Cruise Hands-Free Highway Driving feature. Additional standard features include active sound cancellation, an 11.1-inch center touchscreen, dual-zone automatic climate control, ambient interior lighting, a power-adjustable steering wheel, onboard Wi-Fi, remote start, and welcome lighting that activates as you approach the vehicle. Our loaded Nautilus Black Label Hybrid comes with a hefty $80,345 sticker price, but it includes an impressive array of features, a 28-speaker Revel stereo system, 24-way power-adjustable massaging front seats, adaptive suspension, a panoramic sunroof, heated rear seats, a fragrance diffuser, and exclusive ownership perks like free annual detailing services and pickup and delivery for maintenance visits. Our Black Label Hybrid Tester also featured the Jet Appearance Package, which replaces exterior chrome with dark satin accents, unique badging and grille inserts, and special wheel designs. If you're willing to forego some of that prestige, the reserve trim offers nearly all the same features and appearance options for almost $10,000 less. Even at its highest price point, the Nautilus is priced just below similarly equipped hybrid rivals like the BMW X5, Mercedes-Benz GLE Class, and Volvo XC90. It's worth noting that those hybrids are plug-ins, unlike the Lincoln, so you won't experience significant electric-only driving range. However, the Nautilus's enhanced build quality, attention to detail, and indulgent features bring Lincoln closer than ever to competing in the luxury SUV market. Even at its highest price point, the Nautilus rings in just below similarly equipped hybrid rivals such as the BMW X5, the Mercedes-Benz GLE class, and the Volvo XC90. It should be noted, however, that those hybrids are plug-ins, and the Lincoln is not, so you won't get the satisfaction of traveling significant distances on electric-only power. But the Nautilus's newfound build quality, attention to detail, and indulgent features place Lincoln closer than ever to the luxury SUV big show.